In this video, the further uh, exploits of an alt-set braking system. Uh, Mark is just refitting the brake master cylinder. I'm holding the reservoir here just so I've got something to hold and it makes me look like I'm doing something important. But uh, yeah, the uh, master cylinder has been rebuilt with seals from an LNA, was it? Yeah. Yeah, Citroen LNA. So related, uh, but will they work? We, we shall find out. Uh, some people said the seals are shared with a Volkswagen Polo. Um, that may or may not be the case, but uh, I wonder if that information comes because these cars lived and breathed in Romania and maybe they didn't have Polos. Uh, sorry, maybe they didn't have LNAs, but they did have Polos, so they found some seals that fitted. But if this works, this will be a major bonus. I've already discovered apparently the front caliper pistons uh, are shared with a Visa, so if we've got trouble there, we should be all right to get parts. Um, so yeah, if not that all that much is absolutely unique to the old sets. A bit like the Invercar here, which is a proper parts bin special. So uh, if you're building the car in fairly low numbers, you don't really want too much unique stuff because it just makes it a complete nightmare. Um, but at some point I will do a video explaining more about what the old set actually is. It is not a Citroen Visa, even though it shares caliper seals. Uh, it's very, very different. Um, but once we get this on the road, I will um, get this car together with a Visa. I will take you through all the differences and the fascinating story that is the old sit. And uh, some improvements to do on this one. So I'll be using my spares car at the back for some bits as well. And hopefully having a meeting with a mighty Dacia because those are front wings for a Dacia still sitting on the um, spares old sit. But really must be returned to Rich at some point. Uh, right, I'm going to go and continue making tea, which appears to be my way of helping. Stay out of the way and make tea instead. And uh, we'll see where we get to. Hopefully we'll get pressure and we can start going through the rest of the braking system and see if anything works, anything sticks. Uh, should be an interesting few minutes. All right, um, time for hoping. Uh, we've managed to get the nipple here on the back to open, which was nice because... Uh, being a Citroen design, uh, they're very good at seizing uh, the, the brake nipples. And now we're going to see if we can actually pump anything through. We haven't tried yet. There's only lots of air bubbles coming out the back. A lot of air bubbles coming out the back. Oh, that's, I can feel that pedal is starting to firm up at the bottom of its travel. But gosh, you can see the bubbles coming out. Now I will say we probably should have started with the rear on the other side, ideally, but uh, this is where the car is orientated at the moment. This is the easiest side to film and get at. This is one of the things that intrigues me on this car is what the brakes are going to be like because it's just a conventional no servo or booster, no power hydraulics. It's just a pedal and a mast cylinder. So like a 2CV but with brakes that are a bit more like a GSA. Hold it down on the next stroke. Down. Okay. And up. And up. Does that have a feel of that? Yeah, it isn't going all the way to the bulkhead anymore. So we've probably still got a lot of air and crap fluid. In this. Oh, that looks appetizing, doesn't it? Can I just show the camera that? So we did put some brake fluid in to get this started. But yeah, some ugh, nasty stuff has come out. But I would say it's encouraging. We've got a brake master cylinder that appears to be actually doing something. By the way, you look at the condition of this car. Um, back of the sill, the jacking point is actually trustworthy. Um, bit of dust and stuff, but look how even the disc's quite clean. It looks like it's barely been used at all. This tiny little uh, rear disc. And backing plates, yeah, also very, very good condition. So uh, this all makes me feel better about spending quite a lot of money on this car. To buy but yeah look at it it's it's like it's never been touched so uh, 
now we've got the slightly less easy job of getting in on the other side. Things are going very nicely indeed. We've bled both the vacs now, um, got fresh fluid through and uh, if I apply the brakes, it's still a lot of travel because we haven't bled the front yet, but um, the rear brakes are actually working. So now we're moving onto the fronts. So I'll bring you in closer. There's only one bleed point, so the hydraulics go in this side on the um, driver's side caliper and then there's a pipe over to a bleed point on the other side, just like on a 2CV. So Mark's also keeping an eye on the level, make sure that's topped up, because the last thing you want to do is start pumping more air into the system. An awful lot of air in this system. Holding. Oh, that feel? oh. oh, that feels like a 2CV brake pedal. Really hard. Probably a bit harder because obviously you haven't got um, drum brakes on the back. Wow. Exciting times for Project Altsit. Now I have still got a master slitter on the way, a complete replacement one, which I, I'm still very grateful for because there are no guarantees this is definitely going to be okay. But uh, it looks like we might have found a solution. So Citroen LNA seals do seem to fit. Grand. Well, now at the stage where hopefully she'll fire up. I've been charging the battery because uh, I suspect she'll be like uh, Giselle the GSA, who likes a bit of a crank. Uh, it's fair to say. Let's try and open the choke. Um, that'd be easier if it didn't keep coming out the dashboard. Here we go. Choke set. Uh, throttle operated thusly. Let's go. Oh, that's very neutral. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm not sure the battery is going to last long enough to get the fuel through. Hmm, that sounds a little tell you what, reluctant to do anything. Stinks of What's old petrol. Old petrol. Yeah, well, that's got a fair bit of new petrol in it now. Just to make sure we didn't disconnect anything while we were um, doing other things under here. No, HT leads all still in place. I think everything's there. Well, it's worth giving her a squirt of the easy start. Give her a sniff. Mm. So if I operate the throttle, do we see petrol squirting in yet? No, I just don't think we've got fuel yet. Right, here we go then. Trying again. Well, she definitely likes that. I wonder if the needle's got stuck in the carb again. We have tried percussive maintenance, which is the best kind of maintenance. Uh, not a sausage, I would say. We've got the top off again. The needle seems to be moving, but yeah, look at the mank in there. Uh, it was almost fluorescent fuel. So uh, yeah, still some crud in that tank. This is the problem if you're um, leaving a car sitting for a long time. So do this, might give the, um, get some carb cleaner and blast the jets out again. It's not gonna go, is it? Or it is. <laughs> there we are. Well, this is terribly exciting. Uh, I've driven this car several times, but never with brakes. I 
Hang on. Oh, manual handbrake. Oh, the wonders. Ooh, it actually stops. Oh, this is exciting times. There we go. Oh, come on. Get too much choke, I think. And stop. That's who does. Yeah, the handbrake is definitely dragging a bit, I think. Yeah. She goes, she stops. Actual progress on the um, Project Alter. She's feeling very um, coffee spluttery though. Get the choke in fully and see if that improves matters. Yeah, we're actually getting the wheels to lock up, so that's good. And uh, it is actually rolling, so there we go. The ultimate has brakes. Steering will be the next challenge, because that is um, not quite so good. So there we go. It appears to um, stop as well as go. So this is definitely progress. Like I say, next time we'll start on the um, steering and try and find out what's going on there. New ball joints may be needed by the feel of things to me. Uh, but yeah, very, very exciting. Project Alter is um, progressing. So thanks again to Mark for, for his help with this and um, sourcing the seals. And uh, yeah, I look forward to bringing you more adventures of this car. Just very quickly, I know people think this is some sort of Star Trek emblem, but it's one chevron of a Citroen and the O of Alt, because the river Alt runs through um, Cryova in Romania, where these cars were made. So now you know. See you next time.